baby, I love this shit. I mean, fuck religion, fuck every religion. I don't want no religion, baby. I mean, I could see the hip hypocrisy. I could see the hypocrisy of religion as I was a little kid. Because it was preaching some love stuff and stuff, but at the same time, nobody who was supposed to be in that religion was actually fucking doing it. It was just not for me, baby, because I look for the true things. I, I look for deeper things. No, no, no external stuff. So uh, then I decided I was an atheist. I was all over the place, baby. I looked into all beliefs and shit until that hunger that kept me searching has been satisfied. But it can only be satisfied by the only true and only God, which is one with us and is not separate, baby, and which and the one which offers all freedom of expression to ourselves when we do come into conscious realization that we are one with it and indeed not separate. I fucking love that, baby. That is true. That is God. That is knowledge, wisdom and power. <sighs> That's what I'm about. <laughs> This is Ciprian G at the present and precise moment of 9.16 p.m. documenting step number 35 out of the book Steps to Knowledge channeled by Marshall Lyon Summers. So step number 35, this is a, a review, uh, the review for the fifth week from the book Steps to Knowledge and uh, uh, essentially it's uh, two no wait essentially it's a uh, two 30 minutes practice period but i've kind of did it in just one practice because you know when i do reviews i get each step of the week and then write something about it and i didn't feel like splitting that into two parts so i just did a whole one hour and ten minutes so I guess that's good enough it's acceptable for me today is the 8th April 2018 I think I forgot about that but anyway uh, let's go into it so uh, the fifth week starts with step uh, with step number 29 which is called I will observe myself today to learn of knowledge uh, okay, so I write, this step offered great insight about meditation and how random thoughts that we get immersed into become random activities that we experience in the physical. Random activities or random experiences depends on how you want to call them. But uh, yeah. In uh, doing that, in observing myself, you know, like whenever I remind, it, it was a hourly practice. So when, whenever I would observe myself, uh, many times I would see that I was getting immersed into some random thoughts, some thoughts that I didn't want to think, you know, and uh, I realized that the way it happens in meditation. Uh, the random thoughts that we engage with in, in meditation are also the random experiences that get externalized in the physical. A random experiences or random, uh, a random uh, activities that we do uh, that are, you know, are not in line with what we want to be. That's because we engage with random um with random thoughts which means a random spread of attention which means random activities that's it so second day of the week step number 30 today i will observe my world 
So these two practices were really closely related uh, as, well with, uh, as well as with the practice number 31. But let's see what I write. The world we perceive is usually given to us uh, by the physical senses and that's why it doesn't differ much one day to another uh, because they keep it simple offering offering a simplistic view of the world that's the physical sense uh, if we were to give our attention to our greater sense our mind's eye imagination uh, and depict there the world we would like to see then that would be what we experience in the physical as well uh, i touch about uh, i keep doing this thing but anyway <laughs> yeah. uh, i touch about this subject in uh, in the next in the step 31 description as well because it's closely really closely related so um yeah, I mean, the world we observe is based on what uh, what we let ourselves to perceive and our senses usually perceive the same world that everybody else perceives with their senses. So, um, but if we are uh, disciplined in the mind and can instead choose to 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 ignore what physical well, what the physical senses tell us and then accept the world that we depict in our imagination then that will be externalized but i won't go any further in here uh, because i touched about this subject in the next step as well so it might be clearer there let's see Step number 31. I wish to see a world I have never seen before. This one was done on the 3rd April 2018. I forgot to mention the dates, but yeah, if you're curious about that, you can just check the posts and it's fine. Um, okay. This is closely related to what I've just wrote about in step number 30. Let, let not your physical senses impregnate your perception of the world because that perception will keep externalizing itself. Give yourself to your mind's eye. Give of yourself. Give yourself. Imagination. And let yourself get get impregnated. I don't think that's the word. Would that that's a word even? But I think you can understand what I mean by that. Uh, and let yourself be impregnated by the world you choose to depict there yourself, where all your wishes are fulfilled. And if you walk in faith, faith, baby that is what will be materialized for you so you have to completely shut down the door of the physical senses so so that it doesn't impregnate you anymore and then open the door of your larger sense of your mind's eye of your imagination and then depict there because we can all Im imagine we can all depict what we want in imagination if we have the mental control and discipline for it and uh, if we do close the the door of the senses and then open the the, the door for imagination to impregnate our, our, our perception of the world then uh, hopefully depicting a world where all of our wishes are fulfilled then that is what will be materialized for us but as i said we have to walk in faith like the faith which we have now in the world that the physical senses depict to us that's the same faith we uh, we must have in the world that we depict by our imagination by our mind's eye baby <laughs>
that's real shit right there that alone will will probably make some people enlighten it like just listen to that phrase that that couple of phrases and then you just realize it i got it baby i'm enlightened now it's that easy i mean it's not easy it is sim simple but it's not easy because i mean for somebody who has the mind control and discipline that's that's easy but that's not something very common in our world so that's why i say it's not easy but it is simple step number 32 the truth is with me i can feel it baby there was no baby but you know i was just getting carried away i had to put baby in there because it was the time i haven't been using it for a while so yeah uh, love is what i felt in a particular way in those two days i did this step in two days uh, but i was thinking that it distracted me from feeling truth truth um, yet i also then recognized love to be truth certainly a way that we experience truth anyway love is the truth baby choose love ignore fear and you will create the world that you love don't give in to fear baby that limits you that keeps you on a low level of consciousness you don't grow anymore but love love is expensive baby once you go and give into love, that's where shit happens, man. That's where you get enlightened and shit, eventually. <laughs> Step number 33. I have a mission in life to fulfill. Baby, this is the one I like because ah, I, I've been feeling this so much these past days. It's, ooh, it's amazing. A religion preaches about God while offering false idols and limiting our freedom of expression. And that's not who God is, baby. That is not it. I do differently. Preach about the only God who is not separate, but one with each and every one of us and express in my life the freedom of expression that we acquire once we do come into conscious realization of the one and only God. Baby, I love this shit. I mean, fuck religion, fuck every religion. I don't want no religion, baby. I mean, I could see the hip hip hypocrisy I could see the hypocrisy of religion as I was a little kid because it was preaching some love stuff and stuff but at the same time nobody who was supposed to be in that religion was actually fucking doing it. It was just not for me baby because I look for the true things, I, I look for deeper things, no, no, no external stuff. So uh, then I decided, I was an atheist, I was all over the place, baby. I looked into all beliefs and shit. Until that hunger that kept me searching has been satisfied. But it can only be satisfied by the only true and only God, which is one with us and is not separate, baby. And which, and the one which offers all freedom of expression to ourselves when we do come into conscious realization that we are one with it and indeed not separate. I fucking love that, baby. That is true. That is God. That is knowledge, wisdom, and power. <sighs> That's what I'm about. Step number 34. I am a beginning student of knowledge. 
This step serves the purpose of making us conscious about the fact that we indeed are students of knowledge. In fact, all of us are students of knowledge, for if it were otherwise, we wouldn't be here on earth in the first place. But being conscious aware of this fact serves to speed up the process of realizing knowledge significantly. So that's the purpose of the step. That's what it did for me to a larger degree. I made the rhyme E. Okay, let's just stop there. Um, but yeah, we are indeed, all of us are indeed students of knowledge because that's what Earth is, baby. Earth is a school, is a high school, is a university. I don't give a fuck how you call it. I know it is because we are all here to learn. We make mistakes and we f if we abide in those mistakes and we see them for what they are, we learn, baby. And in learning, we grow. You've given away yourself to fear for, of, for almost all of your life and you live in a shitty world. So what, baby? Recognize that love is the truth and then abide in that. And then you learn, then you grow. You're a student. It's easy, baby. It's simple, but not easy. Again, simple, but not easy. <sighs> Fuck. Week number five, boys. I, I fucking enjoyed it a lot. I've been, I don't know. I think it made me so much more conscious about myself and my world. It's amazing. And I'm looking forward to everything that is to come. This video has been a little bit too long, but as a review, I think it's just natural for it to be that way. So, uh, yeah, it was really interesting for me. And also reviewing all of the steps, there's also some more insights, some more realizations in that. So I do enjoy that, baby. That's what I'm about realizations so uh thank you so much for watching i truly appreciate that don't be shy comment away Tch, fuck it you know what i mean if you liked it watch some more if you don't whatever the fuck you want with your time baby you have freedom of expression you just have to realize it and then accept it as your truth but yeah this has been Chip and G, baby. Documenting step number 30 few, 30 few, <laughs> 35 out of the book steps to knowledge. Review for the week number five. Thank you again. And Chip and G is out, baby. Bam.